just when you thought we were finished with the book stuff, we're only just beginning. So we've added our service manager, and that takes care of instantiating a book table, which is past a book table gateway, but we haven't actually created the book table gateway implementation or adapter, which contains our actual database connection stuff. So let's add that, and that should be the last of the configuration for a little while. And that information is going to be held in the config global section of your app. So this is all the way up at the top of your Zend application. And in here, we have an auto load and we have a global.php file. Inside of here, this currently does nothing. And this is where we're going to tell the service manager how to instantiate a database adapter to our database. Okay, so like all good Zen configuration, you'll notice a theme that everything is configured with arrays and hashes. And the global database adapter is no different. So let's talk about what we've got here. The first is a reference to our database using PDO. And we have our database that we created earlier, which is our book underscore list. And obviously, if you're running on something other than localhost and port 8889, you're going to want to configure that to point to your database. So go ahead and make those changes appropriate for your particular environment. The second part of this array is the service manager configuration saying, hey, we're going to go ahead and associate this connection with any factories that are using the adapter service factory pattern. That coincidentally was what we set our book table gateway up to use. So that is how we initialize and set the database. But alas, we have one last thing. We don't have our username or password in here. We typically want to store that in a different file, mainly because you might not want to check in this into your version control system. So if you embed your username or password inside of the global.php, that's definitely going to get checked in. But you can also put that in different areas that you don't check in. So to store our username and password, we can create a new file underneath autoload called local.php. We'll open with our PHP tag. So again, we're going to return an array, and that's just going to take our username and password for our DB and return that back. That will get combined with the global.php file to configure and create our database connection for the PDO and the Zend adapter.